Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. What on earth is going wild, man? All right, first off, hello everyone. Welcome back to uh, more Steven Plays Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I kind of spent the evening just kind of roaming around Valentine doing whatever. I was literally on my way out of town when I noticed the, uh, the white, you know, strangers I mission like here. I ain't falling you, shut up. Who's around here? Can I go in here? No. Who is it that wants that needs my my attention? Now you see Helen. Oh my god, you guys again? And Protus isn't a boy at all, but a chimpanzee that a man shaves up. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash him. No man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. <laughs> I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. This is the dumbest thing. Fine. Come on! All right, Proteus. Ooh, look there! I got a proper chin. Not God. like that toe rag. God, Lord above. Doesn't hurt. Oh. Hey, hey, hit, hit me, me again. again. Right here. Right here. This is this is madness. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. Give me your worst. Here I stand. I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. Dear God. <laughs> There's only one thing for it then. Hit me in the manhood. Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. Real steel, huh? All right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> They've come out his ears! <laughs> My turn! Oh, oh. Oh. Enough, gentlemen? Oh. Yes, oh. I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? <laughs> Let's get you back to your room. I'm just curious. What, what does the game do with these characters? I'm assuming it tries to get them out of sight and then despawns them. That guy took an interesting turn. Helen. This way. I'm fine. Really. It's that wretch who needs more friend. friend. I've never been better. Really. Truly, I could ride the strawberry in the state I'm in. Both of you are going to bed, and that's the end of it. Morning. There's the hotel. Maybe We're almost there. There's dialogue for all of this, which is really interesting. Welcome, welcome. You've had your fun with these boys. Now let me look after them. That's wild that there's dialogue for following everyone down the street and that they continue to talk about sir. stuff. Certainly it's going to despawn okay. them somewhere. Now lie down and rest. Find out. Oh, yes. excuse me. Rest. Oh. Much better. That was, what was interesting is it looked like there were actually multiple people in there. Anyway, I find that sort of thing wild. Okay, so, <laughs> on the last episode, we, need to rest. we were trying to get to Hosea. It's, it, we've meandered quite a bit, a little bit, uh, you know, in these past few episodes. I honestly really like that. Uh, I really love the exploration aspect of the game. The game feels alive, and um, that's a rare feeling in the game. So today, uh, we are going to be heading towards Is uh, Isaiah, Hosea again. Um, I don't think 
there's any other thing that's going to pull us away. So we will be ultimately making our way down here to Hosea. Finally, <laughs> after all this time. Oh, hold on. Before I go over to Hosea, I was wondering why the post office icon had changed. It says you have unopened mail. Okay. Uh, this is railway ticket, so I guess I come over to wherever mail is. Is mail on this side? Welcome, welcome. Receive mail. Leather from Charles Sh Oh, wow! Fantastic. So he actually wrote me. Mon cher ami, I made it. I have the sun on my face, sand between my toes, and a beautiful vaheen in my bed. The islands are everything I thought they would be, and more. You would not believe the light, and the colors, and the people here. So much brighter and more alive than anything or anyone in Sandini. It feels like a world away, which of course it is. You may be surprised, but you are my only true friend from those dark, dreary days. You did not ask for anything, you only gave. I'll how perfect, how rare. I detest selfish asses more than civilization itself. But what is civilization really but organized selfishness? I must constrain my most primal and vital desires so you may be comfortable. Pa! No merci! This island paradise is what the civilized world would call primitive, but the people here are the most generous in ways I may not put into words. I have met. Why is this? Because they are free. I have never painted like I paint now. It is work the likes of which has never been seen. Before I sent this, I shipped some canvases to New York to be sold. Perhaps if you own that little scribble, it may be worth something now. Either that or laugh at my ineptitude. Always yours, CC. Aww. And that's interesting. He basically is saying, you know, if you still have the, you done enough? the little autographs, you know, doodle that he did, it might actually be worth something now. Which is interesting. I probably have to sell that sort of thing to a fence, but uh, next time I'm around, I'll, I'll definitely give it a sell. I'm always really scared when I cross right here because that's where, that's where, that's where my first horse died. Oh, sir, just in time. I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water. Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Ah! Bad move. Just had to ask for help, huh? Why you gotta do this? Bad, bad move, man. Asky! Come on back, sweetheart. It's fine. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? Asky, get out of the water. Get out of the water. Get out. Good Asky. Calm down. You dumb horse. Why? <laughs> Stopped going on the bridge, went sideways off the bridge. There's a gator down there. Whoa, boy, easy. I'm just trying to get to Hosea. I want to do it in one piece, not multiple pieces. So I finally made it back, took care of a few little odds and ends things that I needed to do. And uh, I'm here to see o Hosea, but I did notice that Lenny wants to rob a stagecoach. And I do have a policy about doing the white missions before the yellow missions because the yellow missions advance the story. So I figured, eh, sure, I'm back. I'm into it. Uh, Lenny. Hey, Arthur. Where are you? Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. 
There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? I don't need no hand-holding offer. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had the look, I'm taking half the money. <laughs> All right, let's get going then. It should be on its way right now. Arthur's right though. Like there is no such thing as unprotected. Every time there's been something in the game, it's like, oh, this will be easy. It seems Bull like crap. Only yesterday, you and me was shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Hmm? Time will come. All right, Askey, let's ride. Come on now, boy. Follow me. I saw a good spot for an ambush. So who's the feller told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Now, uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. I like getting uh, backstory on the, you know, the specific characters. Hold on now. Shit. I think my horse is bigger than Lenny's horse. Whenever I had Emoji, Emoji was always the smallest horse, but uh, I think it might be Lenny's now. Also, how far are we going, buddy? No idea. Okay, well, you know, we'll just, uh, just keep riding, I guess. <laughs> I like using cinematic camera. I've had a few people freak out because they're like, you might miss dialogue. But you don't. Even in cinematic camera, it comes up. You, you don't miss anything. I guess I'll just okay, stay in cinematic camera. Here we are. Or not. <laughs> Let's All leave right. the horses off the road to the right here. Sounds good. Unprotected, right? Take up position behind these rocks. Yeah, seems good. The stage should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. Unprotected. See what guns I got on me. Lancaster and a pump action, sure. Explosive slug. God forbid any poor soul be on the other end of this thing. There it is. And I don't see no escorts neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? Before I forget. As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? I said wait for my lead. This is a robbery. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapon. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me. Last chance. Come out or we're coming in. Shit. U.S. Marshals, you're a... Wanted crime of... I don't know how we're gonna get out. Oh, God. Oh, dear God in heaven. How far can this shoot? Far enough! Holy God! Ah! Got run over. Yeah, you only got a bounty if you get caught. Explosive slug's fun. Who else is left? Somebody. You son of a pisser. All right, Lanny, we got that coach you wanted so badly. You, you laugh? Yeah. 
Are you? Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You don't Took say. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh, to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. You're still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. I have a bounty. I killed everybody. $25. I still have a bounty. So I owe as much as the bounty. Jesus. Oh, God. Someone's here already. Let's go, boy. Don't worry about me, bud. Don't worry about me. I'm just gonna put this on. Keep on riding. Some people, I think, know how to mind their business, which is good. Yeah. Oh my god. Alright, so that uh, went about as well as expected. <laughs> okay! Uh, I guess we should go see Hosea. Um, I think I might pay off my bounty first, because God knows I don't need any trouble in, in this area. It's a big state of Lemoyne. <laughs> it's all gone at Lenny. Do you not know how to jump, horse? Asky. What? Can you not jump the fence? Why can't... Sometimes he just doesn't jump the fence. Jeez. All right, I'll go around. Hey, partner. It's good to see you again, friend. Same. But, uh, what you doing here? Just visiting old friends, I guess. Well, you better get out of here. There's a, there's a bunch of government agents I met asking about you all across town. Yeah, them and a bunch of bounty hunters, too, I think. Uh, so? Yeah. Yeah, me. You don't seem too scared. Yes, not. <laughs> well, you seem pretty mad. <laughs> what would you do? Nothing good. <laughs> well, <laughs> you better get out of here. <laughs> Appreciate the the tip, Mister. Nice talking to you. Hey, Mister. What are you doing out here near roads? Partner? Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? Nope. But I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. <sighs> Maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He he'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Okay, well, I, I feel bad, uh, man. I am so worried. Gav! I hope you find him. Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Good luck, buddy. Where are you? Please stop following me, though. I'm I'm not Gavin, and I I, I don't rightly care. Howdy, so now that I'm finally back to camp, ready to talk to Hosea, I see that Pearson wants to go hunting. Now I think under normal circumstances I would just be like, ah, I'm gonna talk to Hosea. Um, I want to see what Hosea is up to, but we don't ever do anything with Pearson. It's kind of weird that he's over here and wants to do something, so I'm against my better judgment. I think I'm gonna tap I think I'm gonna talk to him. Pearson, what's up, man? How you doing? Sure, old man. Ah, enough of that old man nonsense. I'm in the prime of my life. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How you getting now? Bored. 
You see that swamp, Arthur? That's God's own pantry. What are we eating? Venison? Come on, let's go gather some crawfish. See what else we can get. Crawfish? Yeah, crawfish. Finest eating there is. It's not just crawfish. No. There's monsters out there that'll eat a fella for fun. Oh, Arthur. I thought you were a man. No, sir. <laughs> when it comes to prehistoric monsters, I am very much a coward. <laughs> Whew. Head for those trees across from us, and we'll take a look. On the starboard side. The what? My left, your right. This is a boat, Arthur. Okay. Whatever you say. Wait, I'm supposed to go over here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just rolling right out into sea. Hold on. How did I screw this up so badly? What the? I'm turning the boat around. Just give me a minute. There we go. All right. Now, now we're, now we're in position. Okay. Go slow so I can see. My eyes aren't what they used to be. No, no. Ground is too high here. Keep following the shoreline. What exactly are we looking for? We're looking for low ground and a lot of muck. This is not going very fast. Okay. Good to know that I can press the <laughs> right trigger to shoot the water. Why is the boat not going very fast? Pull us in over there. Here? Yeah, yeah, come on. There's more than crawfish in these waters. Stop your whining, please. It's beneath you. This is the place. Now tell me, Arthur, have you ever birthed a cow? No. It's nothing like that, but it's equally as gruesome if you're squeamish. You're really selling this, aren't you? Yeah, what are you getting at, Pearson? Because you're freaking me out a little bit. Now, do you see this hole? Yep. Well, it's sort of like a natural trap. Just want to stick your hand in. Watch. And there! <laughs> there, you see? Good. Well, seems easy enough. Uh-huh. Let's go find another hole. So... How long were you in the Navy? Oh, years. Well, it must have been a year, at least. Or close to that. That's quite a range. <laughs> All water under the bridge now. No pun intended. I don't have any okay. weapons, so, uh... Hole, you see it? Hope we don't run into anything you that I can't time, handle. Arthur. Remember to reach down deep and get right in there. They like to dig in, the little blighters. Rotate until yeah, you find the crawfish. Yeah, I got some. There is a Nicely crawfish done. mini game. Why don't you see if there's any more down there? Best b game of the year. There we go. You know the drill now. What did I tell you? <laughs> okay, come on. Let's try another hole. Won't be much of a gumbo if we don't find some more. Yeah, we have like 20 people living at camp. I think we're gonna need more than three crawfish. Get down. Get down. Talking of other creatures. There. Those gators? Yeah. Three. And they're female. Must be guarding nests. So... Gator eggs. Really valuable. Even better eating. I'd love cooking with them. Okay. Tell you what, I'm gonna sneak over to the other side of them, draw their attention, and then run like hell. Now, assuming I don't get eaten, you go plunder the nests. That's your plan? You're madder than I thought. Shh. I've done it before in Sumatra. It's easy. I've heard that line before. Oh, ye of little faith. Wait here, Mr. Morgan. This is insane. I can't even kill the gators because I don't have anything better than a handgun on me.
Pearson, please don't get yourself killed, or worse, me killed. All for some dug on eggs. Alright. Search nest for gator eggs. Take gator eggs. Take gator eggs. I'm not sure why that increased my dead eye. Getting gator eggs increases your dead eye? It does. Weird. Okay. That's three nests. Are there any more here? Turn to the boat. Well, the gators are kind of in the way at the moment. So I'm going to go around. Seems like the smartest idea. Because I ain't becoming no stinking lunch, man. I'll tell you that right now. I don't have... I don't got my shotgun with me. Alright, sir. Take us back to the dock. Excellent. That's what I call teamwork. I don't think I've ever seen you move that fast. People pay a lot of money for those eggs. I'm told there's a collector in Saint Denis who gives top dollars for them. For military, of all things. Yeah, because who doesn't want a hat with an egg on it? Nearly back to the dock. There we go. That was fun. Uh, I must get out more. Is that your idea of fun, is it? <sighs> oh, what? Thank you. Here, have some crawfish. And give you some of those eggs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe you could hatch that. Get yourself a new friend. There's a thought. A new reptilian best buddy. To replace Mike, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> I like hanging out with people. You know, everyone's got such varying personalities. It's it's nice to uh, learn a little bit about them. Hey. Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Morgan. Thank you for all your work. Of course, Mr. Morgan. I mean that. Sure, Arthur. All right. My God, we did, we did the things, and we wound up with some crawfish as well. There's people everywhere, man. Who's that? Are you? Oh. Okay. Uh. What's up? Uh, what are you staring at? Sorry, I'm in a world of my own. You are a strange man sometimes. Well, that was awkward. You gonna pee again? I thought you were gonna pee again. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, we will talk to Hosea. God knows it's just about time. <laughs> See you guys next time for more Stephen Plays Red Dead Redemption 2.